Today, Canadians across the nation are standing by ready to support the province of Alberta as they battle with close to 80 active wildfires. Thousands of citizens in Alberta have already been affected by the wildfires in the form of mandatory evacuation orders. Last night, the town of Drayton Valley and its rural properties came under one of these evacuation orders, echoing similar stories in the communities of Inwisel, Cold Lake First Nation, and Fox Lake, where thousands have had to evacuate their homes and many more homes have been destroyed. The severity of the situation has been felt across Alberta and prompted provincial officials to implement a fire ban in most of the province due to unseasonably hot and windy conditions while they fear that rain may not be in the foreseeable forecast. The Office of the Emergency Preparedness Minister, Bill Blair, issued a statement to Global News offering support if federal aid or resources are required but noted that they have yet to be requested by the government of Alberta. In the lead up to the start of wildfire season on March 1st, the provinces and federal government must be wary of potential situations like these that could damage homes and affect communities across the nation. This disaster is a reminder of why it is essential to keep prepared for emergencies at both the provincial and federal levels. For those in Alberta, it's important to heed the advice from local officials and remain mindful that this situation is one that could potentially worsen. We hope for the safety and well-being of everyone in the affected areas and send our thoughts and prayers to those in need.